Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa. This is Face Miss Teresa's YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. We love new people over here. We're all about the glitz, the glamour, the full coverage and makeup of it all and sometimes the drama. If that is what you're into, you like what I like, I like what you like, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification so you will be notified first whenever I upload a new video. Now that the formalities are out of the way, today's video is all about Ace Beauty. I have been wanting to try this brand for such a long time. And finally, I placed my order with them. Um, they were having a sale and they're having a sale now, so y'all could go shop now. Y'all know I love color. And this company, this brand, they embody color. And I have seen I've seen their brand across YouTube for years and I've always wanted to try it. So I finally bit the bullet and I bought two palettes. I bought the Flare palette and I bought the Nostalgia palette. They are so beautiful. First things first, this brand is black owned. It is woman owned. We have a CEO, right? So it's black and woman owned. So more power to you her name is naye i hope i'm pronouncing it properly girl i'm so excited to try your stuff their packaging is absolutely gorgeous both palettes came in sleeves that are identical to their actual palette so for those of you who like to keep them in the boxes um if you don't want to you don't have to because it's not different i personally i don't keep these things so the sleeves will be thrown away just a heads up 12 months before it expires right so you have a year for me i'm gonna have this for longer because you all know i use palettes whether they expired or not i use them once i like them and once they're not finished so i may have it for longer that's terrible to say but it's realistic let me start with the flare palette because to be very honest i feel like this is the palette i want to use today even though i bought the two and i will give you all swatches of the two i feel like flare is the one that i want to use today the flare palette is originally 38.99 i know it's a little pricey 38.99 usd um however i got it on sale and i paid 15 dollars and 60 cents that's more than half price y'all know i had to pick this up and also i got an email stating that it is one of her favorites out of all of her palettes it's one of her ceo's picks i believe it was this one and there's another one but i can't remember the name of it and i don't want to butcher the names of her palettes so i will not say it i'm gonna just put it on the screen if i figure it out <laughs> right and the nostalgia palette was also 38.99 and i paid 19 dollars and 49 cents for this you are ready for the reveal look at the beauty of this palette y'all we cannot go wrong with this palette this palette is a mix of metallics and mattes and with the exception of one they have one metallic dual chrome and y'all i am so excited to try this so i'm gonna give you all some swatches i'm gonna use my arm this is the first time i'm trying this brand i've never tried anything by ears beauty so i i don't know if it's beauty i think it's beauty because there's an accent over the e so is beauty beauty gosh how can i say it again and i just corrected myself is beauty i've never tried anything by them i'm super 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 excited there they are known for their pigment also what i need to note is the flare palette is their old formula they actually have it on the website it says old formula and i believe the nostalgia palette is their new formula so this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette it's at $38.99 and I paid $15.60 for it so I paid like just over a dollar per shadow which is amazing especially because you know they've been raved about so I'm really excited to try it where do I start um that's how they talk this one is saffron this one is mirage this one is aubergine and this one is mulberry this is cider Ooh, very pigmented firefly wow pumpkin kind of patchy but maybe it's how i swatched it but hazelnut wow these are very pretty and they run into each other and i absolutely love that like these are very fall colors you know it looks even better in person oh wow i swatched this so bad 
these are swatched so bad but i hope y'all can see it it looks even better in real life like wow so this one is acorn very nice dark brown bayberry oh these metallics are metallic and guys um atlantis Atlantis these are very pretty and oops, forest pine so this one is moss because I'm guessing it's a moss green very nice um shubet or is it shubi I think it's shubet but hmm, kind of patchy not too sure how I feel about that and this is the dual chrome this is whoa this ah, this is biscotti oh my gosh wow but these are the shades of the flare palette wow i am blown away i definitely have favorites all of the metallics i absolutely love only one of them is kind of wow i'm not sure if you all have seen the tint like the change between in biscotti the dual chrome has tints of mauves and light gold. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. I definitely have my favorite shades. I absolutely love Mirage. That shimmer. Ooh, that shimmer blew me away. And I love Cider. This is Mirage hair. This was the first shimmer that I swatched. And then there is Cider, which is the yellow. Also one of my faves. Firefly is the only shimmer that came out a bit chunky but when you smooth it out it looks fine and i absolutely love bayberry oh bayberry is this one here this is bayberry and i love all of them and i love biscotti obviously i love all of these shimmers and y'all know i'm not a shimmer girl i am a matte girl if you come onto my page i'm gonna see matte across the board everybody that knows me knows i love bright colorful matte so i don't know why it took me so long to buy from their brand in the first place but I'm here now. Please forgive me. You can go on the blue side if you feel like it. And you can do, go on the brown, the, new, the neutral, the reds, the fall side, the purples if you like it. It's amazing. Okay, I'm back. My brows are done. I did them off camera because y'all know it takes me a hot minute to get them done. Also, the girls are giving us a full-size mirror and we love it. We're all here for it. We love a full-size mirror with a palette. So that's already a plus. The swatches already look good. Let's see how it performs on the eyes because we know that swatches can lie. Did I rhyme? <laughs> As usual, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Modern Concealer in the shade 360. Okay, we're going to start off firstly by putting acorn in the crease. Am I doing a cut crease today? I haven't done one in such a long time. I feel I will. I think I will. Okay, so I'm liking acorn so far. It is, um, it's going on darker than I thought it would. Did I? I don't know why I thought it would have been a little lighter, but I am not mad at it. It's blending out really nice and creamy. It's not patchy. At least I don't think so. Um, yeah. So I was really torn like which direction to go in. If I wanted to go on the blue side, or if I wanted to go on the fall color, oranges, reds kind of vibe. But I think I'm gonna stick to the orangish side. So I'm gonna do the shade hazelnut to blend out acorn. Now hazelnut seems to be like a burnt orange in the palette. But as I put it on the eye, it seems very red to me. Maybe as I apply more color, it may change, but it seems to be applying, it applies orange, like that. But then when you start blending it out, it turns into red. See, like that. Like if I were to see this color on somebody's eyelid, I would not think that the color from the palette that they used was hazelnut. I would think that they used saffron, which is the red shade. So you know that's just something to look out for so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna top that with pumpkin because i really did not want an a red eye i wanted it to be more orange so i'm gonna top that with pumpkin okay. 
It could also be because I'm mixing it with acorn that the color is changing, but I'm going back in with acorn here, guys, just to make sure that it blends perfectly. Nice. And of course, the color that I'm going to use for my brow bone has to be cider. Cider is this lovely yellow hair. I'm going back in with pumpkin. And now we're going back in with acorn. Nice. So I'm just going to do this on this eye. Okay, so now we're done with that. I'm going to cut my crease like I usually do. Blend all the edges, using the same brush that I primed my eyes with earlier. I was just about to say that was the fastest I ever cut my crease and then I made a mistake and I had to fix that, so take that back. I'm going back in with acorn on the edges. You know what, I'm going to start with Firefly, which is a metallic. I will say there is a little kickback, but nothing that I feel like is such a big deal. I don't have an issue with kickback at all. Is what, what I will say is these are very pigmented. Very, 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 very pigmented. So let's go in with cider. And you know what I absolutely love? I love that no matter how much I add on on top of it, the color doesn't like blend away. So if I add on, it's only going to get brighter and more pigmented. I love that. It doesn't fade away. Because some mattes do that. Some mattes, when you, you try to put more on top of it, it blends out. Um, I actually had a palette, um, the Trend Beauty palette, I believe, um, the Mosaic. And whenever I applied the other color, it was blending it away. But this one is not doing that. And I love that. I'm going back in with Firefly. Just so the color does not get lost, I'm going back in with Firefly. And I'm also going back in with acorn on the outer corner. This cutie is definitely going on my inner corner. But for now, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to do my face. My foundation routine has not changed, guys. Oh, I did not apply primer. I have primers that I need to try. But for now, I'm just going to use this one. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. have very little fallout I must say. My foundation routine like I was saying has not changed. It is the exact same. If you want to see my routine then you can click the card here and it will take you straight to my flawless foundation routine. All right I am back. My face is highlighted. It's full of foundation, concealer, um, highlighted and contoured and that's where we are. Let's finish the face and then we move on to the eyes so i have to apply blush and i'm thinking to use one of the shades from the palette i'm actually thinking to use hazelnut because even though it looks or burnt orange in the palette it did turn out kind of red on my eyes so i'm thinking that would be like my perfect shade for blush because that's the vibe i usually go for it's usually a mix between orange and red love it love 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 it I love it as blush, absolutely love it as blush. And we are good to go with blush. I'm going to do highlights and this is by Tabig. Oh my gosh, if I could get every time, if I could get it open. This is Winward Breeze and it is by Tabig Glow Cosmetics. It's very, it's becoming one of my favorite highlighters. Let's just be real about this. I, I use it so often. Definitely a go-to. I feel fabulous already. Oh my gosh, I look 
so good. Now let's go back to the eyes. For the sake of using the two vibes that you get from this palette. So we had one hand with the swatches that were the browns, the blues, the greens, and then we had the other hand that was reds, mauves, oranges. And since we already have the reds and the oranges on the eye, I'm going to do the blues on the bottom lash line. I'm going to take the shade Forest Pine. This. This is freaking gorgeous. The fallout is there. Oh my gosh. Please do not ruin my look. I wanted to do three colors. I wanted to do the Forest Pine Moss and Sherbet. I really hope I'm pronouncing this properly. I don't know if it's Sherbet. Sherbet. But it's spelled the shade. I'm gonna go in with moss. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with shibet. But I'm only going to concentrate shibet on the inner part. I'm going to do biscotti on the inner corner, which was the dual chrome. I'm gonna blend that up into cider, which was on the lid. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this justice because it does have a shift between mauve and light gold. But I love it. I love where it is. The gold flakes, the gold flakes are coming out more because it's right next to cider and it's blending up into cider. So for me, that's a win. And now let's move on to the liner lashes and let's do three L's. I think I'm gonna do my mascara first. Usually I do liner first. Um, this is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash. I got this in my Sephora mini haul. I will put the card there for y'all. I cannot find my pencil liner. So for my water liner, I'll be using gel liner. This is Baseline. And this is by Ambrosia Cosmetics. Not gonna lie, every time I use this Benefit, um, this <laughs> Benefit Roller Lash, it makes me not want to put on policies because it makes my lashes look so good. But we must do lashes because lashes just complete a look. But first, we're gonna do liquid liner. This is the Deuce Cosmetics Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen Liner. I've used this multiple times on my channel before. For lashes, I'm very torn right now. Obviously, I'm going to use these Ravishing Lashes. I am a brand ambassador for them. I will put my code on the screen here for you guys. So you will get 10% off your next purchase if you choose to use my code. But I am torn. This is the style Chantel, which I've been dying to try for such a long time. And these are the minks that they just came out with. And this is in the style Stop and Stare. So I changed my mind. I'm not doing Stop and Stare for Chantel. I'm actually using the style Doris, which was down here. This is a multi-pack that I also got from um, Titi Ravishing. And it has four styles in it. These styles are Cameron, Exotic, Fantasy, and Doris. Doris is like the right mix of is the right mix of drama and subtlety, you know? So yeah, we go with Doris. I love how this looks. I love how this look turned out so far. Okay. For my lips today, I'm thinking to use these. These are by Tobago Glow Cosmetics. Two of them are mattes and one of them is a gloss. They are in the shade Bennett, James, and blue. I'm thinking nasty mix because y'all know I love my favorite red lip combo right now is Bennett and James. This is my lip for today. I am um, blown away. I absolutely love. Y'all, I pride myself on the fact that I can make almost any palette work. Whether I like it or not, I can make almost any palette work. But what makes me happier is when I don't have to work too hard to make a palette work. And this palette was freaking amazing. The color story alone, the color story alone will make you want to buy this. It's the sunset and it's the sunrise. All mixed together. It's daytime, it's nighttime, it's, it's winter, it's fall, it's spring even. I am very much pleased and y'all know we love a good sale so I'm so glad I got it on sale and they have a sale running right now so y'all don't stick. When I bought it, it was already on sale so I could not use a discount code. I was going to use Jillian, um, Jillian, I don't know her last name but it's Jilly MUA is her handle on Instagram. She's phenomenal and I was going to use her code to buy the items but it was already on sale so I couldn't use it. So maybe y'all can use it. I believe her code is Jilly MUA or Jilly MUA 10. Um, I will verify and I'll put it on the screen for y'all. So y'all can use that code to purchase 
if it's not on sale at the time, you'll get 10% off this palette. Black owned, woman owned, amazing pigment, amazing blendability. Um, 10 out of 10 will recommend. The only thing is that that burnt orange color that I thought was going to be burnt orange but actually came out red on my lids and on my cheeks. That's the only thing that was off putting for me. Um, and I still made it work and I absolutely love it. So I am very glad and very elated about how this look turned out. And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Go check out Ace Beauty uh for this purchase and i will see you all in the next video for the nostalgia video so y'all you can just wait for that you know you follow up i love y'all thank you so much for coming back to my channel thanks so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it remember to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and a comment below letting me know um, what's your favorite shades um if you, if you have any palettes that you'll recommend also i need new foundations so if y'all have like foundation recommendations please put them in the comment section i love you guys thank you so much for watching today's video um if you're looking for two other videos there are two videos right here for your viewing pleasure remember to stay safe and stay sweet we are in a pandemic still even though outside open i love y'all i'll see y'all at the next one